Thank you so much for being here for another episode of the Maria Brummer Show. I am super excited. I've got a great show prepared for my viewers today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow. And remember, if you're looking for funding to start up a business, invest in business, or even get some real estate deals going, check out that description box below and set up a free consultation with me and I'll give you a call. Today we've got a very, very, very special guest. His name is Christopher Katz. He's a very successful real estate investor, entrepreneur, businessman, film director, and has been able to achieve amazing things using the law of attraction. So hold on to your seats because we've got a great show for you today. So without further ado, I'd love to go ahead and get Chris on the phone. Thank you so much for being here and get ready for an amazing show. So everyone, I just want to let you know, Chris has been a a longtime friend. He's taught me a lot about the law of attraction. I've always kind of been into that. Um, And and, and, and learning about how I use it in business and how it can be used to manifest your dreams and desires is huge. So I just want to set the premise that um, he has been very successful in life because he's, he's a great businessman and he's really smart, but at the same time, He knows that the law of attraction can help you get where you need to be. My mindset is everything, and if you can believe it, you can achieve it. So let me go ahead and get Chris on the phone. Um, He is an amazing friend of mine, and I can't wait to introduce him to you. Hey, hello. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much for being here on the Maria Brummer Show. I know I, I'm a little bit early, but I thought you can't hold back on good things. You really got to just get in there and go. So I, I really uh, was excited to have you on the show today. I've got some great questions prepared for you, and I couldn't think of a better person to interview on my show today. So well, every, Thank you very much. So. You're very welcome. And uh, Chris calls me by my middle name because that is definitely um, one of the most popular handles that I use in business, and uh, he's Uh known me for quite a while. So um, he's one of the few people that I let call me soul on the Maria Brummer show. (laughs) Uh, But but Chris, um, I am so excited to have you on the show today. I know that you and I are very like-minded when it comes to the law of attraction. And just like me, you've been able to use it to manifest some amazing things. Um, Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, I'd love to give uh, you the opportunity to tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, how you got started, your journey, and how you got to where you are today. Sure. My name is Christopher Katz. Um, Let's say, I would say I started about 15 years ago. I just put all my money into one rehab, Mm -hmm. uh, a flip, as, as we call it. So I wanted to put money into that renovation. And I just quit my job. I quit like society altogether. I just went ahead full fledged into this house and knowing in my heart and in my mind that I was going to sell this house Mm -hmm. and it didn't matter what I was going to go through to get there. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and just put my money into it. I didn't have much money. I maybe, I don't know, $1,100, you know, and I just threw it in there. I did all the electric, the plumbing. And right away that same month I had a full offer on the house from some came and looked at the house and he said he loved the house so right there that just triggered me to you know hey let me let me take the money that he gave me you know i want to pocket in 75 grand Mm -hmm. and then i went ahead and put that into two more homes Mm -hmm. you know and i had the same vision and Mm -hmm. i just kept going after because because i really didn't know where i was going i had no direction Mm -hmm. i just knew i was going to get there you know it Mm -hmm. was like some kind of some kind of um thing that was in my mind that just kept saying, get there, go there, go mm-hmm. there, get there. Cause I kept thinking about currency and I kept th- seeing number seven, 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 five, 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 three, 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 and one, two, three. Mm-hmm. So I started looking at it and I said, man, what are these numbers? And here it's like angels watching you and uh, you're going to have a lot of money, you know, <laughs> one day. And I'm like thinking, wow. So I just kept going, you know, yeah, today absolutely. I'm 30, 
30, 30 properties today all oh. down the shore. I Airbnb them. Oh. I also have regular rentals that are in the cities, Philadelphia. I got some in New York. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm financial free. I mean, I can pretty much do anything I want. I could pick up and leave and leave for the next five years and come back and my business will still be running successfully. That That's so, so amazing. Um, I, and, I, and I know you mentioned some great numbers in there that have to do with synchronicities that have to do with law of attraction. And I know that's really huge for you. Um, yeah, and I, and I wanted to ask, um, tell us a little bit about, uh, how the law of attraction, how you use that, um, to achieve some of the amazing things that you were able to achieve. Well, well, I started, you know, just, just, uh, saying these different little sayings every day. Mm-hmm. And what I would do is every morning when I woke up, I changed something that I did. I didn't want to fall into these habits and mm-hmm. in, into these, um, paradigms, you know, mm-hmm. that people fall in and they were, believe it or not, you're, when you're born and your parents are raising you, mm-hmm. they're creating paradigms on you. Mm-hmm. You don't know it. It's kind of like subliminal. So what I did was I started to, um, really concentrate on, you know, the, the power points mm-hmm. of what I wanted. And I was taking action more or less. I wasn't thinking about it. I was just, action was key. Mm-hmm. And I kept writing, writing it down, you know, writing numbers down, writing, I'm going to do this and this and this every single day, mm-hmm. chalkboarding it, walking around with little templates in my pocket, mm-hmm. reminders, because that's the thing, man. Repeat is one of the strongest things in your laws of attraction because if, you're, if that's something you really true desire something that you really want you're gonna get it because mm-hmm. once you think it the message is out there do you know what i mean yeah so for once, sure. once that message is out there and that image like when you were a little kid and mm-hmm. you were, had an imagination and you played games and imagined you were that person it's kind of like that mm-hmm. i mean your imagination is the strongest thing you have going for you so people tell me you know i don't have it yet Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. I'm searching for it. I'm seeking it. I believe them. I believe that they're heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Other people, they kind of procrastinate there. Um, Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Or I'm going to get to that. You Mm -hmm. know, those words are kind of negative. Like Mm -hmm. I don't think they're ever going to get to it because if they've been staying for this long, I don't think it's going to happen for them. (laughs) And they they start to believe that. Right. And, and what you, what you believe in your mind and what you speak into the world is actually (laughs) what you end up attracting. That's correct. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you know, when people are, how are you feeling? They'll say to you and you're saying you're sick all the time. Mm-hmm. That's what you're telling the universe that you're not feeling well. The universe is going to believe it and it's going to put you in it not feeling well. Mm-hmm. Now, if you tell the universe, Oh, I'm getting better. I feel great. I feel terrific. Even though you're not mm-hmm. tell the universe that because eventually you will start feeling good. Yeah. And that's the whole key to, to me. That's the whole key to life. Yep, you know, absolutely. Feeling good is what you want. Being in love, being happy, and doing the things that you love to do. You know Health, what I mean? Health, wealth, so- and happiness. Absolutely. And being <laughs> in that mindset and feeling like like you have that and and feeling that you're in that space only helps you to right. attract more of that. And um, it's interesting when you were talking about those synchronicities and those numbers. We mentioned a very mm-hmm. key set of numbers. It was five, five, five. And yeah, um, very I, strong. Yeah. Yep, and I want to let everybody mm-hmm. know that Chris is actually the person that turned me on to the five, five, five rule. And um, <laughs> I, I, that's an amazing thing that actually helps you out a ton when you're trying I mean, to manifest your desires. <laughs> Keep doing it, you know, exactly. if it you know, that means you don't believe hard enough. So if it doesn't work the first time, just keep doing the five, five, five. It's making you work for something that you really want. And that's what the universe wants you to do. Absolutely. doesn't want you to stand still and sit on the sofa and everything's going to come to you. Believe me, things are going to come to you. It's just that you do have to take action. Action's and everything. You abs- know? Absolutely. Action is everything. And Chris, I would love it since we, the Maria Brummer show is, is definitely where we want to kind of educate people and inspire people. And uh-huh. I know you told me about what the 555 rule was, but could you I, please let our viewers know a little bit more about what it is and how you use it in your life and, and what you've been able to achieve by using it? Well, yeah, five, five, five is, uh, five is, um, for five days, you're going to write down 55 things or even one thing that you really want to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you're going to believe it 
in full force. You're going to kind of put that into full effect mm-hmm. to understanding that that's what you want for the next five days. Write it down. You got to write it down 55 times mm-hmm. and then post it somewhere where you can see it. You know, post it in your car, post it in your work, post it in the bathroom. I mean, wherever you mostly spend time, mm-hmm. that's where I put it, you know. So, and I'm usually everywhere, but I try to put it there. I've had several things actually happen for me. Mm-hmm. And for one example was I wrote a check, and it was a number on the check, and I wrote it 55 times on a piece of paper because I wanted that number. You know, mm-hmm. I was really like, that's the money I want for this. So I kept writing that down, and the next thing you know, within, I believe, within 14 days, prior to me writing that into the five day set that check came out with that wow. exact number <laughs> yeah that's All the way so down amazing to 10. yeah that's, it was very amazing yeah that's completely <laughs> so unreal. that's what triggered me to believe that mm-hmm. this is true and this is happening so mm-hmm. i kept doing it and i still do it today i and still do it oh, yeah yeah and that's so awesome and that's definitely something that i've learned that can happen as well because remember when you taught me to do the 555 i've been doing it and all of the things uh-huh. that I've been writing about, not only do I write them down and, and, and <laughs> wait for them to manifest and believe that they're coming, but yeah. I also <laughs> recite them. So every evening when I'm doing That's my awesome. my, yeah, my, pr- my mm-hmm. kind of routine of gratitude and and get mm-hmm. my space of, of my where I read my law of attraction book. I don't know if you've read the book, ask and it is given. And, um, sure, I have a, a, it's a great ask one. And you shall receive. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's Abraham exactly Hicks is what huge. It is. <laughs> but I mean, I but, always well, read. Know, so I like that. The fact that you mentioned, they say it out loud. That's one of the keys. Mm-hmm. Talk it out loud. It doesn't matter what you want or what you're, you're looking for. Say it out loud, write it down. Make sure you write it down. Cause write it, write it down automatically gets your mind triggered to thinking For you sure. want to be thinking about what you want and then say it out loud to the universe you know? say it 10 times say it 100 times i say um i always thank for things, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always so grateful and happy now that mm-hmm. money comes to me in increased quantities. Um, that, well, easily, <laughs> easily and effortlessly on a continuous basis, on a continuous basis that yeah. I get to keep <laughs> yeah. for the good of all. Yeah. Absolutely. There's some great, that's teachers. something you, you want to say all the time, you know, basically, uh, to get right to the, to the, um, to what you're looking for, basically, because a lot of people don't know. You know, mm-hmm. I ask them, what are you looking for? What do you want? What are you going to achieve in the next five years? Like, what are you searching for in life? You know, they don't have an answer. They're, they're uncertain. They don't know, you know? And, and, and the <laughs> universe does, doesn't doesn't understand uncertainty. The, the universe, universe is not going to give you an answer. Yeah. Exactly. And the universe is not going to give you money. You know, you got to mm-hmm. know what you want exactly. Yep. Because a, a vision's everything. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger said it best, you know, having a vision is everything mm-hmm. because – you have a direction. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're just floating around. You know, you're floating around. You're, you don't know where you're going. I had a direction when I got into rehab and knowing today I'd be all into real estate. And that's what I do. And mm-hmm. I sell homes as well as keep homes. I renovate them. Right now, today, I'm renovating a house that I own that's airbnb at four o'clock today so that's where it's at like this is my life but you know what i enjoy it i love it mm-hmm. um gives me all the freedom in the world i don't have to be here i could throw somebody else some money he could be here mm-hmm. i choose to be here you mm-hmm. know because you love what you I do i don't have anything to do with it. yeah mm-hmm. i don't punch a time clock you know time is mine exactly right? and <laughs> you've been able to achieve some really great things in your life and i know that you've mm-hmm. been able to use law of attraction to help you do that and you've that's right. That's how I got my wife. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and um, I just kept procrastinating. I was going to get with her someday, and man, I don't know if this happened. You know? Yep. I mean, the law of attraction said, you know what? These two are meant to be. So, um, but you know, at the same time, um, uh, yeah. what, so who are some of your greatest teachers when it comes to the law of attraction and and learning about how to use that in life and business? Because obviously, you've been able to Very achieve. Strong, yeah. Yeah, Bob Bob Practor is probably my biggest teacher. Nice. I actually went to Canada. I met a gentleman that um, he, he knew Bob Practor. He knew who, who he was, and he actually worked with Bob on a couple of different things. That because mm-hmm. this guy wanted to get a Cadillac, a black Cadillac, for mm-hmm. some reason. He kept seeing this car, mm-hmm. so Bob told him to post it around, post it all over. Yeah. And for weeks, nothing developed. And then it was probably, I think, within the third month, they told me, 
that his brother-in-law had a car and he wanted to come get it. And it's a nice car. It's a Cadillac. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was yeah, so he went over and got the car, and it was black. It was the same color wow. he wanted. Yeah, so it's the weird things, like whatever you're trying to attract, you're going to attract it. Trust mm-hmm. me. So it's how you do it, what you're doing. Take a good look at yourself. You know, look in the mirror today or to, mm-hmm. to, when you wake up tomorrow and say, what do I really want in life? You know, what is what I want? Because your body's going to tell you, you know, and do the gift. Do the gift that God has given you. Don't. Don't work a job, you know, if you feel like you don't want to be there. I'm not saying, you know, hey, look, if you like your job, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have your own pure life, you got to get rid of your boss and landlord because that's the only way you're going to live the way you want to. It's the only way you're you're going to make a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. You know, otherwise you're working for somebody else's dream, Mm -hmm. you know, and I just couldn't do that. I could never get a job. You know, I was always I a bad employee myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. you know, school, they don't teach you so they don't teach mm-hmm. you financial education. Yeah. So you got to get out and you take all these courses, you take, you go to college, you get out and you really don't know how to make money, mm-hmm. you know? So day one, that was the first thing I started was learning financial education. This way I knew how now I created businesses online, you know, that kind of mm-hmm. thing. I sell products online. So money just keeps coming to me. And mm-hmm. that's what that's what I'm talking about. Multiple sources of income, you know, is mm-hmm. a is a really strong point mm-hmm. because you could put your bank in one middle of the page, mm-hmm. you know, Saul, yep. and then draw these electrical lines to it of each source of income. Mm-hmm. You don't want to rely on one source. No. You don't want to go to the work and then get sick the next day and then no money comes. Yeah. You know, but also I get sick you become- for the next ten years, and guess what? I'm still the same amount of money comes to my bank account. Exactly. And one of the things, too, about having only one stream of income is that you become too dependent on it. And if you're too dependent on something and you're stressed out and and then you're just you're just actually attracting desperation. And the universe says, well, if you're desperate and you're you're putting out this vibe of resistance and and you're too dependent on something, Mm -hmm. they're going to make it more scarce. And so that's right. So, I mean, law of and attraction it's it's is not good. exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's why multiple streams of income is 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 super important. But it's also super important that you shift your focus. So you're not too worried right. or too yeah. concerned about any one thing. And um, definitely not. And Bob, yeah. Bob Proctor yeah. is an amazing teacher when it comes to law of attraction. I mean, he's the only one I can really focus on. I like everybody else. I do. I like a few others. Mm-hmm. But Joe Dispenza is also the top good. Of my list. It was a, Joe Dispenza. Oh, no, yeah. Well, yeah, he's good. I mean, he does a lot about the brain and everything, and I, I, I respect the man for all that because I've actually learned a lot of things off him as well. Because the heart and the, the brain whole, are connected. It's kind of like a magnet on how you attract. It sure is. Um, yeah, and that's what I tell people, you know, I tell people they, they're formed into habits. Like when you get up, soul, and you mm-hmm. go and brush your teeth, mm-hmm. and then you – comb your hair Mm -hmm. and this is religious this is every morning you Mm -hmm. do this Mm -hmm. it's not your brain anymore it's your body Mm -hmm. okay and that's what people don't understand your brain is not telling you to do this now this is a rep this is what you call a paradigm this is something you fall in Mm -hmm. and you keep doing over and over again and you need to change that because mm-hmm. in other words, you're you're being dictated to basically from your body you want to kind of change your motions you know like do something different way off the wall like to get something you never had you got to do something you never did you know yes, what i mean absolutely and that's exactly how i look at life like i go like hey instead of going around this block i go around every day no mm-hmm. i'm gonna go to the next block and turn that way yeah i mean it's just you just gotta do it you know? switch it up you yeah. never know what you're gonna find also you know uh giving your yeah. brain that 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 different you know <laughs> A variety is also good for you because then you can uh, get well, excited about new things. Let me give a things. plug out to Soul anyway. Let me give <laughs> a plug out to you. I listen, I watch Soul's videos. I think her show is awesome. And I also think um, a lot of things she puts out there are just on a positive trip. I love the fact that Soul stays positive. No matter what the situation is, she's still going to be there. And that's the great part 
people with souls, Bella. Oh, thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> I truth, appreciate yeah. it. And don't and forget me, to check out the Maria Brummer show on, on YouTube. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to turn them on tonight. I guarantee you're going to have a lot of likes in that day. Oh, I appreciate I can, it I, I can so much. Guarantee. I can't guarantee it, but I can almost guarantee it, okay? <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Know I'm, a, I'm a huge ham anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the support, Chris. I really do. But, yeah, there's so no many problem. amazing teachers out there when it comes to the law of attraction. One of my favorites are actually Louise Hay and Abraham Hicks. They, mm-hmm. They're they're amazing, too. And mm-hmm. Bob Proctor is, is truly amazing as well. Um, but uh, I, Robert Kershawkian, I believe. Yes, Robert the, the one that Rich wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yeah. I actually seen him in a couple of seminars. I met with He's amazing. Robert and uh, – yeah, great guy. Robert Fantastic Kiyosaki's guy. Awesome. He, he told me to my face that you don't need any more direction anymore. It sounds like you already have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's amazing. That's a compliment me, coming from him. It was a huge compliment. You know? I was like, I said, I should be saying that to you, Robert. <laughs> you know? For he, sure. He just smiled at me. He's a guru. Sure. I mean, he's, he's my big inspiration when it comes to real estate. You know, mm-hmm. he pushes Absolutely. me to. Uh, get the portfolio income coming, get the passive income coming. You know, mm-hmm. these, these are different uh, incomes that I look at. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I don't want is, you know, what you want. <laughs> <laughs> is to it's only know what you employee. want. You just exactly. don't want to be an employee. <laughs> don't, don't, don't work don't for someone else for and yourself, build their dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? I'll tell you what. So the world is heading for all entrepreneurs. It's heading mm-hmm. that way. Mm-hmm. It's all heading for people that own houses and this kind of like the, I don't want to rent no more. I don't want people renting off me. You know what I mean? I want mm-hmm. them to buy my home or I'm going to Airbnb it. I don't want people to rent, to pay mm-hmm. me six, seven thousand dollars a month, twelve thousand dollars a month, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I don't want the money. I want the money into a mortgage plan or mm-hmm. something like that for them. I'm actually looking out for them, you know? Exactly. Financial ways to own a home today are everywhere owner finances is out there there's all kinds of ways to get a house mm-hmm. and it's like money you know nixon he dropped the gold standards back in 1971 you remember mm-hmm. that yeah so that means money's being printed all the time mm-hmm. so if you can't get your hands on any cash there's mm-hmm. something wrong with you my friend you mm-hmm. know <laughs> yeah you're still panhandling you know yep got to change something up to make it better for sure and I wanted to That's ask it. you this question, too, because speaking of the law of attraction and knowing that you know so much about it, and I know you're also, like me, very interested in astrology and see how, how that I is its it. own thing. Mm-hmm. Astrology is amazing. Um, but yes, I've noticed some patterns and, and similarities with law of attraction and astrology, and I just wanted to ask, do you, do you think the two are connected, and if so, how? Uh, I mean... It's like religion. I mean, there's 5 million religions out there. I don't know about a connection. I think it's about per person. You know, I know it's a weird theory, but people individually, you know, it seems like I talk to like 500 people pretty much a week Mm -hmm. and they all have different theories on how they're, and believe it or not, I get enlightened because I actually learn something, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I actually learned their ways of, uh, you know, connecting with a different force and that kind of thing, which I think is wonderful. So I don't know if anything's connected. Who knows? It all can be. Mm-hmm. It could be one big circle that we're in the middle of. Mm-hmm. We don't know. I hear so many stories about death and where they go. And mm-hmm. I hear a lot of stories about who God is or Jesus and this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I just know what I'm doing is working, mm-hmm. and I'm in that direction, and it, it's, um, I don't know what, to, I couldn't put a label on it. Do you know what right. I mean? I don't exactly. know if it's religion. I don't know if it's from science. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I just know it's working. I'm it's a rich work, man today. It's, it's working, it. and it's making you happy, and it's it's allowing you to have sure. the things that you, you desire that, you know, allow you to have the life that you love. Um, that's and, it. Yep. Then that's awesome. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, but, it's, <laughs> but it's exactly. <laughs> yep. 
And you've been able to achieve so many great things. I mean, where do you see yourself in the next five years? I mean, like you said, you could you could very easily do nothing for the next five, ten years and be fine. Well, that's where I see myself in five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I turned, I turned 50. I, I still see me buying properties. Uh-huh. I'm actually in the midst of looking to buy more apartment buildings, believe it or not. I want to convert them into Airbnbs, places uh-huh. where they can stay in the city and people can go to coffee shops and this uh-huh. kind of stuff. And stay for short short term. They they don't have to stay for any long term. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at, you know, as far as that goes. Because I mean, money is is there. You know, mm-hmm. money's already there. I tell people like I'm writing a movie. I'm working on a movie. Yeah. And people are like, you know, well, what about the money? What about the money's already there? I got to make the movie to catch up with the money. Exactly. The money's already there. The, the, and that's the, what I tell people all the time too. Like. They're worried about the money. They're worried about the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they're not worried about actually writing a good movie and make it something wonderful. Exactly. They're they're more into what's coming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And which is fine because that's what it's, if it's already there, it's already there. You know, you're selling million tickets in the movie. That's wonderful. The money's already there, but make sure it's a good product. You know, make sure it's something people can watch. And enjoy. Yeah, and enjoy and for years and years to come, generations after generations after generations. Because if you look at some of the great exactly. music, some of the great movies and and pieces of music from the '80s, and I and Christopher Katz has a great group on Facebook about uh, the '80s and the '80s. <laughs> Thank you. And it, I love I that group keep because it, 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 I keep it small, and if you, know, you notice, I kind of stopped it at. Seven 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 members. Uh huh. I one. did notice that one. I'm just like touche. <laughs> I, I don't even want to welcome the new members yet. You know, I'm gonna wait on that. I know mm-hmm. we're gonna hit 800 soon, but you know, the bigger the group gets, the way I start feeling, it's not really a private group anymore. Right. <laughs> you you, know you, you should add them in a hundred at a time because then your next one will be eight eight eight. Well, that's true too. Keeping those even numbers just small, smart, and you know, I did keep it at five, five, five. If you remember for a while, <laughs> I do, I do, and I'm just like yeah. this guy's on to something. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you want to do those synchronicities, you could totally do it. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> I do want to say my Chris Cat show, Hard Metal Hour, has mm-hmm. reached. I'm almost at a million people, which is uh, wow. very exciting for me. That's awesome! Uh, Congratulations. I need about maybe 13 more members. And, you know, it's hanging me up on that number 13, you know, mm-hmm. which is, I have my address is 13. My anniversary is 13. Nice. I mean, like everything around me resides around 13. It's crazy. That, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Num- n- numbers, I mean, it's, it's, it's a mathematical science, but it is very connected to the law of attraction. I mean, well, it's, uh, yeah. spirituality. Well, people that's- are like, you know, well, if you believe in God, you, you, you shouldn't be believing these numbers. Who do you think made these numbers? Mm-hmm. You know, exactly. and that's what I tell people. You know, God put this together, not us. Exactly. There's numbers <laughs> well, on a calendar. There's smart, numbers on right? a clock. I mean, there's numbers that yeah. that tell us what to do. Everything th- throughout the day. Everything's a numbers game. Everything's a numbers game. Well, I'll tell you another. To go back to um, real estate, mm-hmm. <laughs> which you know people don't realize they can jump into a, a real estate business tomorrow yep. and they can make what you call a real estate note. And mm-hmm. this note, they can actually purchase property for zero down. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's a little bit tricky, but if they know how to do it and I can always teach you the game, you can always get a hold of me on my Facebook or, or soul. Maria will yep. give you my We're actually gonna information. Put you, yep. We're going to actually put your information in the description box because we want to give people right. an outlet right. to and contact I'll give some you. About how, how, Uh, For example, a lady had a property in Wildwood. Mm -hmm. She called me up and she said, hey, Chris, I want to sell this property. So Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'll tell you what, let me go look at it and I'll come see you. And I went to go look at the property Mm -hmm. and I loved what I seen. You know, it was a a big, tall, skinny building. People probably know this place. It has uh, each room has a little toilet in it, Mm -hmm. you know, (laughs) and I'm thinking this is a gold mine, you know, yep. but in, I'm just going to keep that to myself. I went to go see her mm-hmm. and I said, you know, you want 150000 for this place. I want to give you like a cash buy mm-hmm. right now on the property and I'll give you 80 grand. That's what wow. I told her. She said, no, no, I want to try to get the 150. Mm-hmm. I said, well, do you like the passive income? Cause you got renters in there now. Do you like what they're paying you? Yeah. And she says, yeah, I like that. You want to do that deal? I said, well, I'll tell you what. 
I will give you a contract for 120 months. I will pay you this amount of dollars and I'll give you $10,000 down. And at the end of the 120 months, I will give you the balloon payment for that property. Yeah. So she started thinking about it. I left. Then her husband calls me not too much, like maybe three hours later. Say, hey, Chris, yeah, come back. Come back. We want to talk to you. So I came back. And they were like, we like the deal, but we don't like the 120 months. Could we do 60 months? Normally I don't, but I'll mm-hmm. tell you, so this place was sold. I'm, I can already smell the money, you know, mm-hmm. like <laughs> I was sure. going to attack this immediately. Exactly. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'll take the 60 months, but I'll give you a smaller balloon payment and I'm going to have to give you a smaller down payment. They didn't care. They said, that's fine. Now, nice. check this out. I wrote the real estate note up. And I wrote everything on the real estate note. I gave it to the lady, Mm -hmm. gave her her money a month plus the $5,000 down now. Mm -hmm. I went to go see my private investor. He gave me $20,000. So when I go ahead and make the sale, okay, Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give him 12% when I sell the building. Mm -hmm. I don't have to sell the building for 60 months, Mm -hmm. which is five years. Right now, I don't tell them five years, but 60 months sounds better. But <laughs> I sure. told my private guy, right? So now I got 20 G's in my pocket. Uh-huh. I own the building, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's say I have 15,000 because I gave them five grand. Mm-hmm. What did I put out? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> I own the building. I got 15,000 in my pocket tax free because wow. it's borrowed money. It's all mine, and oh. that's what puts me over the edge. Yeah. So, and this and is I call exactly why cows. I wanted to have exactly, definitely a cash cow. And this is exactly why mm-hmm. I wanted to have Chris on this on this show because not only has he been able to use the law of attraction to to achieve some amazing things in his life, but he's so well versed in so many different <laughs> facets of business and real estate. And he's even making right. movies as a director. He's an amazing guy. So like I said, we're going to put his contact information in the description box below. So if you want to learn from him on how to do some amazing things in real estate, or if you want to learn from him on how to get better at manifesting things with the law of attraction, or if you just want to connect with him and get to know someone who's really super cool and a really, really great soul, uh, then uh, we're going to make sure that we have a way for you to contact him in the description box. And remember, if you, you. If, yeah. yeah, no problem. And remember, if you're looking for funding for real estate or getting started in business, we'll have my link in there as well. So that way I can help you with the funding that you need to get started. And we'll make it a win-win for everybody. And Chris, thank you so much for being here on the you Maria so Bremer welcome, Show. So. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. You have a wonderful rest of your weekend, okay? You too. Thank you. Yeah, you All too, right. Talk to you Bye-bye. soon. Bye.